Hey guys, welcome back. This is going to be practice two of our division strategies for this week. Um, so again, all you're going to need is a piece of paper and something to write with. And just remember that at any point in this video, you may pause and then you may unpause and follow along with me or check your work with mine. So this division strategy is going to be called repeated subtraction. And all that means is that we are going to take our dividend and we are going to repeatedly subtract our divisor because we want to figure out how many groups of 32 fit into the number 348. So if you are familiar with the multiplication strategy of repeated addition, this strategy is going to be just the opposite. So on your piece of paper, we are going to start with our dividend of 348. We want to make sure we always start with that largest number, right? And like I said before, we are just going to subtract our divisor. So we are going to subtract 32. Now I know that 8 minus 2 is 6, 4 minus 3 is 1, 3 minus nothing is 3. So I have just taken one group of 32 from the number 348. So I'm going to just do that again. I'm going to repeatedly subtract. So I'm going to subtract 32. 6 minus 2 is 4. 1 minus 3. I can't do that. So I'm going to take it from the next largest place value, making the 3 a 2, and making this 1 an 11. Well, I know 11 minus 3 is 8, and 2 minus nothing is 2. So at this point, I have now taken two groups of the number 32. I've taken two groups of my divisor out of my dividend. So here's where you could continue to either keep subtracting the number 32, or you could kind of make this a little easier on yourself. And by doing that, you could think, well, I knew that two groups of 32 was really just 32 plus 32, making that 64. So rather than taking 32, 32, 32, I think I'm gonna start taking 64 now. And if you want to challenge yourself and take an even larger multiple of 32, you can do that as well. So I'm going to take 4 minus 4, which is 0, 8 minus 6, which is 2, and 2 minus nothing is 2. So now that is really, since 64 is the same as two groups of 32, I have now taken four groups of my divisor away from my dividend of 348. Okay. So like I said before, you can pause this video at any time and you can continue repeatedly subtracting either if you liked to subtract 32 or you liked subtracting 64, but we want to see how many groups it takes before we get to our lowest number. We want to try to get as close to zero as possible. So again, you can pause this and then check with me or you can stay with me. I'm going to continue subtracting 64. So I'm going to continue subtracting two groups of 32 at a time. So if I take another 64 away, 0 minus 4, I cannot do that. I'm going to go to my next largest place value. And I'm going to make that 2 into a 1, giving my, my 1's place here, making that a 10. So I took a 10 from my 10's place, gave it to my 1's place. 10 minus 4 is 6. 1 minus 6 I can't do, so I'm going to go take a 10 from my next largest place value and give that to my 10's place. So now I have 11 minus 6, which is 5. 1 minus nothing is 1. So that is now 6 groups of 32 I have taken away. I'm going to subtract another two groups of 32. 
6 minus 4 is 2. 5 minus 6 I cannot do. I'm going to go borrow from my largest, my next largest place value, making that a 0, and giving that to my tens place to make this a 15. Sorry, if you can't see that, that is a 15. 15 minus 6 is going to be 9. And now I still can still take more away, more groups of 32 away from 92. But so far, I have taken eight groups of 32 away. Okay, I'm kind of running out of paper here. You can see this is a longer strategy. This one is going to be more time consuming, take a little longer, but it definitely still works. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite my 92 up here. I've still only taken eight groups of 32 away. I'm going to take another two groups of 32 because I know 92 is larger than those two groups of 32. Two minus four I cannot do. So I'm going to go to my next largest place value, take away a 10 there, making that an eight, and giving that to my ones place, making this a 12. 12 minus 4 is 8. 8 minus 6 is 2. So at this point, I have now taken 10 groups of 32 away from my dividend of 348. Now this is where I have to ask myself, can I take 32 away from 28 and still be at 0 or above? And the answer is no, I can't do that. So at this point, I know that my answer is going to be my 10 whole groups that I was able to take away with a remainder of 28. I was able to take 10 groups of 32 away or out of 348. And I had 28 left over, 28 remaining after I did that. So this was practice two of the repeated subtraction strategy for, the, for division.